Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. I will be hosting the show, and guess what, Cindy Grove? I will be singing this whole mother fudging show just for you. But thank you for your comment. That's the kind of girl you're dealing with. So, on that happy note, here we go, here we go, out of tune, out of tune. I'm going to sing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm that petty. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm just that petty. I am. And anybody who reads my comments will know exactly what that is about. Hmm. Hmm. As I have said a million times on my show, I do sing. No, I don't love singing on my show. Yes, I am aware I'm out of tune. And yes, 1 million percent, I know I cannot sing. I say it all the time. I cannot sing. My loyal lovers, peeps, they don't give a happy hoo-hoo that I'm out of tune. They don't give a happy hoo-hoo that I cannot sing. It's actually quite hilarious to me. So whoever you are, Cindy, I'm sorry that the sound of my voice is so annoying. You had to leave a comment. Turn the volume down. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that, everybody. Um, so a couple of a couple of of songs have come through over the weekend that I want to share. And again, these songs, <clears throat> I do still have a little bit going on congestion wide. But you guys, I'm going to tell you, black seed oil and mullion, the bomb, kicking it out of me in like a minute. In a minute, this stuff is like being taken out of me, this like head cold, sore throat thing. In a minute with black seed oil and mullion, it, it's crazy crazy how quickly this is going this time okay oh see everybody on here is like keep singing they sing too and you know what I'm just gonna say this um our loved ones and spirit music is such a big part of our lives and this plane and they do communicate through music and Cindy I'm I'm sorry that I'm like pointing you out, but you left a public comment. So I'm going to use you in reference. So you get your moment of fame. Congratulations. When you're a channel, and a lot of people don't understand this, I'm not just willy nilly getting to say what I want to say. Um, information comes through me and out of me. And sometimes I don't know what's going to come out of me. Like, what words are going to come out of me. Sometimes I'm not aware of <clears throat> what's going to be said next um, because it's not like I'm processing this in my mind. I might have a feeling of if it's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, but however, when spirit calls me to do something, I do it. I'm not the boss of me during this show. I allow angels and loved ones on the other side to speak freely whether it be through music or verbiage to the people that need to hear that. And if that's upsetting to anybody and they're very sensitive ears, I apologize. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't apologize. <laughs> no. I'm not apologizing, Cindy. It's my show and I can do what I want. I don't know what to say to you, sweetie. You you came on and you left a post and all you did was bash my show. Maybe this show just isn't for you. I hope you stay listening, but... Sometimes... Sometimes if you don't like... The singing changed the channel. I don't know what to say to you, love. I just don't know. But I'm I'm sorry I hurt your ears. <laughs> I'm sorry that my untalented, unstructured, 
musical voice was so bad. <laughs> you had to leave a comment when after I sing, I'm cringing and telling everybody, I'm so sorry, please don't comment. I know I cannot sing. <laughs> On that note, I'm actually going to start the show now. And my singing, by the way, Cindy, if you're watching today, I just want you to know my singing is going to be hella horrible because head cold, sore throat, but it is what it is. And just laugh at it. Do what everybody else does and laugh at it. If you cannot laugh at things, I don't know what to say to you, love. I really don't. Find your happy place. Go find your happy place. Go find your happy place. I don't I don't know what to say to you. I don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> and Rebecca has the two hands. I don't know if that's like yay or she's praying for me. I don't know. I've heard I've heard different things about the, the hands. I think it's clapping, but hey, so I want to. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to say hello to everybody online and then I'm going to do music. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do music through the whole show. And I think FedEx just rolled up. They're going to stroll up. My bell's going to be ringing. Okay. And I'll be singing. See, I'm like a rapper without the tuning. God, I need to quit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, they're not, they're not, um, they're not ringing the bell. They're just knocking, but I'm not, I'm, I, I can't get up and answer. The show is already way off track. The show is so far off track. I want to say hi to everybody who is online on the chat. Heather, thank you so much for joining us today. Happy birthday to your son, Colin. Heather's son, Colin, is going in for surgery on Thursday. Let's all send out prayers to him um, that his heart surgery goes well. Amy, hey, Amy. Uh, fun. Hey, fun. Uh, Sal, hi, Sal. Happy Monday, Sal Genevieve. Uh, Caroline, hi, Caroline. And um Estella oh my goodness Estella it's been a minute I think Estella I think I was having a dream like a week and a half ago and you were in it I don't even know don't even ask I can't remember but it was like a week and a half ago and you were in it and some some other people were in it it's so crazy of a dream oh my gosh <clears throat> Rebecca Lolly uh, hey how are you I'm going to go to Jay Francis. Hey, Modi. Hi. Oh, gosh. I feel so blessed that everybody's here with me on this whatever blah day. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So we have Kathy is here. And again, Modi, Caroline. Okay, so I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm not reading all of your comments. I think they have something to do with the singing. <laughs> Oh, J. Francis says, maybe just sing everything to pick a fine time to leave me. I love my peeps. I love you guys so freaking much. I love you so freaking much. I do. You guys are the best ever. Okay, so I'm going to start with the songs that come through. And the songs that I get are... Um, <clears throat> There are songs from the other side, and there are songs that are either answering a question for you or a song that you loved or a song that somebody else on the other side loved. It's up to you to decide. So a song can come through, and to you, it could be like, oh, my God, me and this person sang that song all the time. It could be that, um, oh, that was that person's favorite song, or oh my gosh, that's exactly the answer to the question that I was asking. So here we go, Cindy, um, you might want to do this right now, because I'm going to be hella out of tune. Okay, Cindy, I'm, so I'm sorry, Cindy Grove, I'm, so I'm sorry, I think that was her name, I'm not even sure, but you might want to do this, or, you know, when you go to the gun range, and they have those orange little ear pluggy things, you might want to pop those in right now, because here we go. The first song is um, 
I'll stop the world. Oh God, I can't even today. And melt with you. I've seen a difference and it's getting better every day. I think those are the words, but that is the first song coming through. Modern English. Thank you, Jay Francis. Um, that is the very first song. And that song has been for like four days straight in my head. So I know it's for somebody who is listening to the show, who is needing that song. That is the first song. The next song that is coming through is, oh my gosh, that song again. Um, to the window, to the wall, till sweat drop down and these ball, ball, ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I stalled and said, <laughs> that is not how the song goes, because I'm like, can I say that on air? I don't know if I can say that on air. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. For the love of all that's good on this big, beautiful green earth. <laughs> There's that. I think everybody, whoever knows that song, knows it just when you say from the window to the wall. <laughs> Till sweat drop down. The <laughs> Till all these things crawl. <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know, right? I know, it's so sad. It's. I don't know if you're laughing. I don't know if you're crying. Okay. And then the next song is Frank Sinatra, I Did It My Way. Um, and this, the verse that's coming through and is uh, the one with the curtain call. Um, my, I, I, can't, I can't hear the words completely, um, but it's the I Did It My Way by Frank Sinatra. So just um, know that. And then, um, oh yeah, Caroline. Oh my goodness, Caroline. It's Get Low by Little... Little John, Caroline is hilarious because you guys, Caroline, she is just the sweetest little person. And for her to bust out with knowing what song that is, that is the best ever. Okay. And then, um, okay. So that's good on songs. The, um, the right Jay Francis, that is an awesome catch, especially by Caroline. Um, okay. I am going to go to names from the other side. Now this might be somebody on the other side saying your name. This might be somebody on the other side's name. Um, and of course, Brian is here. Of course. And Chris is here. Christian. Sister Christian. I know who that's for. Jessica. That one's for you. Mama's here. Jessica, Chris, and Mama are here. Um, and I know this because whenever this person's family comes through, that song comes through. Sister Christian. And that is how I know who that is and who it's for. Um the the next thing is um and as i as i say this that song comes through again i'll stop the world and melt with you and it, and it just it it starts playing again okay and then um the next name i'm hearing is mirable or mirable i don't know if that, that i'm sure that's a name someplace mirable Mir Maribel, Maribel, Maribeth, Maribel. I hear it as Maribel. I'm going to keep it as that. Okay. I hear it as Maribel. I'm going to keep it as that. <clears throat> and then the next one that I'm hearing is, um, the next name I'm hearing is Bianca. So whether these are people, a couple of these I know are people on the other side. A couple of them might be for people here. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go and I am going to start taking callers. Uh, I am going to, when, okay, once I call your area code, please uh, give me your first name and where you're calling from and have a specific question. The more specific your question is, the more specific the answer will be. 
I do want to tell you, if you want to know about like what's going to happen over the next six months, the next year, yada, yada, <clears throat> please, um, um, that that might be more for a personal private reading. That's a full length reading. That's not one question that can be answered um, during the show. And if you do want a private reading, please reach out to my um, reach out to me um, my uh, via my website uh, t o n i g dot i n f o. I will never reach out to anybody for a reading or to ask them if they they tell that tell them that they need work or anything like that. So if anybody reaches out to you and says they're me, that's just not true. I just won't do that. Um, the first question, the first caller is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi, Tony. This is Jennifer calling from Canada. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Good. It's funny because two of those songs um, are by bands that I heard back in 2019. I went and saw them live. The uh, modern English one, uh, I'll stop the world and melt with you. So I think that might be for me. I love that. I love that. And I can't, I keep hearing it. I just can't, oh, for four days straight, I've been hearing that song. And the other song that I'm hearing too is Suicide Blonde. I think it's by In Excess. Um, but, and if you know the song, you know it, but it, it, right now I'm not hearing the words, but I was hearing it throughout the weekend. Anyway, anyway, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that and confirming that for us. Thank you. Okay. How can I help you? My mind is like on total stall this morning. So please forgive me. Well, I hope you sing it. <laughs> um, my question is like, there's a lot of differences between my, my current significant other and myself. Just, and we don't live together. I just, because we're in different countries, do you see me moving to be in the same country as him or him here? Well, I don't. Okay, so you moving to live with him, I, I get a solid no on that. Um, okay. I feel like, he, oh, may I please ask what country he's in? Oh, the U.S. Okay. Um, yeah, I would really rather you be in the U.S. right now, all things going on in the world. Um Mm -hmm. However, I don't feel like that's going to be the move that's going to be made. I feel like um, even if that's what both of you wanted, you're both full force. I feel like it would be very problematic due to, um, I hear statue of limitations, which means it, that does, I, I don't know what that means in your personal case. You, I could put a lot of meaning on it. I could try to presume what that means but I'm hearing statute of limitation. Now that could just mean rules and regulations regarding this sort of thing, or it could mean something going on on either of your, um, either person's side. I will- I, I know what it means. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So I'm so happy. Thank you for confirming that. I do feel like, <sighs> okay, I'm just going to say it. Everything is a choice. Everything is an option. I do feel like in June, you have the potential or the option that you might have somebody else entering your life. To what extent this goes to is up to you. I know that's not what you asked. Mm -hmm. I know that's not why you called in. But I'm going to, I just, I can only say what I hear. And if this is the information they want you to have, this is the information I'm definitely going to give you. I'm also going to tell you that in May, there's going to be a significant change in your life. Like you're going to feel, now, maybe that's why they told me about June 1st. You're going to feel like everything is topsy-turvy. Everything's a little bit upside down in your world. 
and that you are needing to break away from or be free of things, certain things, maybe everything, but certain things. Um, just because, again, everything's kind of turned upside down, topsy-turvy, not feeling um, like, uh, yeah. and I'm hearing that song, oh, bye myself I don't want to be <laughs> oh, I can't even now now thanks a lot Cindy now every time I sing as though I wasn't so conscious enough before now every time I sing <laughs> thank you for being Captain Obvious Cindy <laughs> we all needed that <laughs> Oh, go back to your happy place and stop ruining ours. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I'm laughing because I'm hella nervous and feel very insecure about my singing in the first place. It's not something like, it's like if you say, I have a cut on my face and then somebody looks at you and goes, oh my God, you have a cut on your face. That's atrocious. Yeah, I pointed it out first, dumbass. <laughs> um God, I'm so sorry. Okay. You are going to be poor Cindy. No, not so much. Um, keep your criticisms to yourself. Unless you're doling them out with compliments. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I'm just going to chalk all of this up to me not feeling well. Okay. <laughs> everything's going to be topsy-turvy. You're going to feel very upside down. You are going to feel like um, something, whatever comes in in May, it's it's not going to last a very long time, but you are going to feel like it's turning your world inside out, okay? Whatever that is. Mm -hmm. But just breathe through it. Um, and then in June, <clears throat> everything is going to start fresh again. OK, so when June rolls around, you're, there's going to be a tremendous number of opportunities. So it's almost like in May, this one thing that happens or maybe one thing, another and another, but they're all related in one lump group is ending out a cycle for you. It's ending out this. Why would I? Oh, here it comes. Hold on tight, because this is the Jimmy to the jam for you and everybody listening. Um, why would I settle? Whether it's work, career, a fi a finances, um, partner, why would I settle? I know there's more out there. Why am I broken up about? Why am I crying about? Why am I settling? Why am I so upset for something that I knew it wasn't a good match to begin with? Okay, so that's what they want you to remember in May to take some of the sting off. And sometimes we go through a period where everything is broken down. It's almost like um, we feel like what else can go wrong, but it's really everything going right. It's like taking the carpet out from under us so that we can have this big, new, beautiful beginning with everything we want instead of everything we were settling for. And sometimes that will just start in like, let's just say the, um, I hear communication sector, but I'm going to say relationship sector. Um, or our work sector, and then it works its way through. And if we go through it with the attitude of this is just taking out everything that wasn't working or everything that wasn't everything I wanted it to be, and then um, <clears throat> go into, <clears throat> go into, um, I'm about to get everything I want, you're going to be so much happier in the end. And by August, everything, you're going to be so, um, I don't want to use a term grateful, but by August, you are going to be very pleased with 
the way everything turned out, given the fact um, you don't sit on your couch eating popcorn, drinking wine, <laughs> and you get up and get out and you go do things. <laughs> you can't ex So that's what I have. And I do feel like you already kind of know where the situation is going um, when we have to try to make something work. That's just the beginning of it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we, we have to be in the space where we know it's okay to be alone for a while. And eventually that, that good match will come in if that's what you're looking for. Right. Like a lot of times we get into that space. Well, is there really anything better out there at this point? Is there really anybody out there that is going to be a good match? Yeah, there is. There is. Now, again, this is all free will and choice. I say we can make any relationship work depending on how much we're willing to sacrifice, how much we're willing to give, what we're willing to um put up with, so to say, if you're earlier in a relationship, you're not even living together yet, it might be a little bit easier to start to separate yourself and move in a direction to get exactly what you want. I hope that makes sense to you, love. It does. Thank you. And I was wondering if the May thing is for everybody, or if we're all going to have some sort of catastrophic whatever, or if it's just me. I feel because like, I do feel uh, coming down the pipeline well, for you know what? Thank you for asking that. I feel like that might be now. Remember you're in another country, but that doesn't mean what happens there isn't happening here or isn't going to have affect us. I feel like in March, there's something coming through universally um, or I don't want to mm -hmm. say globally. I think in March there's coming through that is in, <laughs> in March. There's something coming through that is going to um, affect a great deal of people. Okay. It, March, we're going to have something that's going to af af affect a lot of people a little bit in a different way. Um, and I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll see in March. And then again in um May something else will come through. So possibly it is the same thing that is going to affect the same thing that's going to affect you is going to affect others. Um, but in, in March and then in May, and then um well, I, I'm just gonna leave that there because there are still some things that are a little bit unknown, even to the the universe um i love each and every one of you so stinking much i will be back wednesday for seconds. a minute of a minimum of 30 minutes i'll be back at noon central you can join me live on youtube you can join call in until then have an absolutely amazing rest of the week Thank you.